Spectrum News 13 has always been your trusted resource for local, up-to-date news and information. Now we're offering all of that wherever you are, featuring the same team you already rely on. Informing, empowering, and connecting you to your community. Download the Spectrum News app. Available on the App Store and Google Play. Spectrum News, your community connection. Exclusively for Spectrum customers. Candid conversations with our community's newsmakers. Central Florida Beyond the Soundbite, a Spectrum News 13 podcast. Available now on the Spectrum News app. Community camaraderie, how residents of Daytona Beach are showing their support following the arrest of a man suspected of shooting an officer. And today, our search and rescue teams found another body in the rubble. Updating the unaccounted, how many people search and rescue crews are still looking for following a condo collapse in South Florida. And fighting for family, how one household in Surfside is holding on to hope that their mom found a way to survive the wreckage. Good evening and thank you for joining us here live at the top of 10 o'clock on Spectrum News 13. I'm Sharon Stone. Your top stories are just ahead. First certified meteorologist David Hecker joins us live for a check of that weather on the one. So are we about done with the rain for the night? Yeah, I really think we are now, Sharon, at least in the, the late evening and overnight time period. You can see here across the area in Clashron 13, there's almost nothing left across the area. In fact, the only sprinkles that Clashron 13 is detecting, you see just offshore there of Pinellas and Manatee County in the Gulf of Mexico. So we're going to keep things pretty tranquil the next several hours. However, I do think we're going to see some coastal rain showers develop overnight tonight, kind of move their way, especially along A1A and US1. Overnight lows down in the low to mid 70s. And then as we head into your Sunday, more dry air arrives. I mean, an even lower chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area, with high temperatures climbing back into the upper 80s and low 90s. So I'll be back with another look at Clash on 13 and the very latest on who has the best chance for storms tomorrow. The updated answer for you. Coming up on your weather on the ones. Authorities have arrested the man suspected of shooting a Daytona Beach police officer in the head late Wednesday night. 29-year-old Otha Wallace is in custody. He was arrested just outside of Atlanta, Georgia, around 2.30 this morning. Daytona Beach Police Chief Jakari Young says he's grateful to the federal and state officials who all helped capture Wallace. It was based on the surveillance and the technology that we were able to utilize in the complete total team effort of law enforcement all over this state and the federal level that led us to that tree house just outside of Georgia where just outside of Atlanta Georgia where he was taken into custody. Chief Young mentioned that when Wallace was arrested he made a statement saying you guys know who I am you know what I'm capable of and it could have been a lot worse. Now to an army of support. That's what the Daytona Beach Police Department says they're grateful to have this week. And that support continues as Officer Jason Rayner remains in critical condition at Halifax Medical Center. Spectrum News 13's Emily Braun is live outside of the hospital now. And Emily, you saw quite a few supporters out there earlier. Yes, Sharon. In fact, right before the sun went down, there were close to 100 cars that looped through here with their hazard lights on and some with flags flying on the back of their tailgates. All of this to honor Officer Rayner and the Daytona Beach Police Department. Daytona Beach Police Chief Jakari Young told us that Officer Rayner's outlook is improving, but there is still a long road to recovery ahead. Reporting live in Daytona Beach, Emily Braun, Spectrum News 13. State and local officials are tweeting messages of support for the Daytona Beach Police Department and Officer Rayner following the arrest of Otha Wallace. Governor Ron DeSantis tweeted in part, quote, there is no place for hate in Florida. Our law enforcement will be protected. Justice will be swift. Orange County Sheriff John Mina tweeted, quote, great job getting this suspect in custody and off the streets. Senator Rick Scott writes, quote, Florida stands with our law enforcement and will never tolerate violence. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement says the missing baby out of DeBerry has been found. Officials say Annabella Bartlett was located safely in Illinois. FDLE says Annabella's mother, 40-year-old Natalie Bovey, turned herself in in Illinois. Bovey has since been taken into custody on a felony warrant. 
The death toll in the Surfside condo collapse has risen to five people. The mayor of Miami-Dade County says a body was uncovered from the rubble Saturday and that human remains were located. The process of identifying these victims is very difficult. Uh, we're going to be relying on DNA testing, and that is why we've already been gathering DNA samples from the family members. So they have all participated and provided DNA to assist us in the identification. Spectra News 13's Will Robinson Smith caught up with a family who is still holding on to hope that their mother will find a way to stay alive amid that wreckage. The mayor of Surfside said Saturday evening the globally backed search and rescue effort for the 156 people unaccounted for will continue throughout the night. President Joe Biden is tweeting his support for the community of Surfside following the condo collapse. The president said in part, quote, I spoke with Governor DeSantis to let him know that we are ready to provide assistance as needed by state and local officials. As search efforts continue, a Florida fire department is making sure their team is prepared for emergencies. Spectrum News 13's Ashley Paul has a look at some of their extensive training to prepare for a moment like this. A cruise ship set sail from a United States port for the first time since the pandemic began 15 months ago. The Celebrity Edge, owned by Royal Caribbean, departed from Fort Lauderdale on Saturday. The ship is operating at just under 40 percent capacity. 99 percent of passengers are vaccinated. One says she's going on the cruise because she feels safe. Celebrity, you've taken all the precautions you have and been very stringent with everything the CDC, and that's what we're about. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention requires 95 percent vaccination rates for cruise ship passengers. Spectrum News 13, meteorologist David Eckert, 11 minutes after the hour now on this Saturday. Much quieter Saturday than it has been the last couple of days across central Florida. Still some rain and storms around, but the coverage was much, much lower and much less intense. In fact, great time-lapse photography of some rain earlier in the Listed.com weather cam over the city of Sanford. Definitely dealt with a lot of cloud cover, especially as we got into the afternoon and evening time period. And here's what's going on in the water vapor imagery. It doesn't look like much, but notice there's some slightly drier air kind of running right along the spine of the east coast of Florida. That's why we had lower coverage of rain and storms today. And I'll move the map. Notice this area of tan showing up out in the Atlantic. That's even drier air, and that begins to push its way in as we get into Sunday. So we're still going to see showers and thunderstorms around, but I think the coverage is going to be even lower than what we saw today. In fact, a portion of central Florida will likely end up staying totally dry. So let's kind of pinpoint what to expect here. Right now, latest on Clash Strong 13. Summer shape up how one Kissimmee trainer is making it his mission to keep teens fit and healthy this year. From the moment you wake up, we're here for you, sharing your stories, forecasting your day, keeping you connected and informed. The Spectrum News app, available on the App Store and Google Play. I wanted to be a meteorologist to follow in my dad's footsteps. He's not only a meteorologist, but he's also driven me to do a little more. I'd add more to my plate, like baking, because I like the challenge. Here at Spectrum News 13, we're constantly furthering our education. I decided to get my master's in emergency management in order to bring the best forecast to our viewers and prepare them. I'm constantly trying to get better. It's definitely rewarding. I'm meteorologist Mallory Nichols, Spectrum News 13. Central Florida weather is always changing. That's why we've built the future of weather coverage for our community. Clystron 13. Faster storm detection, better storm tracking, clearer storm dissection, all to keep you safe and informed, storm or shine. Clystron 13, the world's most powerful television radar, only from Spectrum News 13, exclusively on Spectrum. Here are your winning lottery numbers.
Summer just started and the kids are out of school. Spectra News 13 Stephanie Bachara shows us how a Kissimmee trainer wants to keep teens not only fit and healthy, but busy for the next few months. We have to be united and we have to create these safe spaces so that people aren't afraid. Instilling inclusivity. Why business owners say supporting LGBTQ plus friendly locations is important despite roadblocks. Here at Spectrum News 13, we're keeping you informed, sharing your stories, forecasting your day, and making sure you stay connected in your community. It's now in the palm of your hands with the Spectrum News app, your community connection. Get it now at the Apple or Google Play Store. Spectrum News' mission is all about local journalism, and that's exactly what Report for America is all about as well. Report for America is a nonprofit national service organization. The goal is to really integrate yourself with a local community. Me being here in Central Florida, affordable housing is a very important issue. My role is to share that information in a way that makes sense and inspires the communities and to do what's best for them. I'm Ollie Durig, Report for America Corps member, Spectrum News 13. Introducing the new Spectrum News app. Stories that matter to you, now wherever you are. Download the all-new Spectrum News app, your community connection. Twelve minutes after the hour now on Spectrum News 13. Meteorologist David Eckert, another day featuring scattered showers and thunderstorms, but the coverage in intensity was lower than it has been the last couple of days. We get even more dry air that's going to filter in here as we head into Sunday. Still some scattered storms around. It is Florida after all in June, but I think the coverage is going to be substantially lower. In fact, some of us probably end up staying totally dry. This is going to be short lived though. We're kind of turn active once again. It looks like as we head into next week and next weekend, which is July 4th weekend. Right now I'm forecasting a pretty typical Independence Day with a good bet for showers and thunderstorms heading into the PM time period. Farmers market forecast for tomorrow looking good in the morning, kind of steamy though. It will be dry with maybe the exception of the coast. Temperatures hanging out in the low 80s and by one o'clock some showers and storms around. But again, not all of us will see activity at one with temperatures back into the upper 80s. Rain forecast for tomorrow. Watch out for those scattered showers and storms once again. A little bit of a stronger breeze, especially in the open Atlantic, with easterly winds 10 to 15 knots. The seven day forecast an even lower chance for rain and thunderstorms here as we close out the weekend tomorrow. High temperatures only making it in the low 90s with a 30% rain chance. But those rain chances tick back up quickly. In fact, a 40% storm chance on Monday. We move to a 50% storm chance on Wednesday. And right now, the start of the holiday weekend on Saturday, 40% rain chance and high temperatures in the low 90s. Pollen forecast, some changes here. We're still moving to the moderate category as we start next week. Ragweed and grass remain the big concerns. Much more, including your surf report for Sunday. It's coming up in less than 10. Right now, Kleistron, 13. Starting a business is a daunting challenge for many. Spectrum News 13's Julie Gargata shows us how some in the LGBTQ plus community are overcoming additional barriers in what's already a difficult task. Cutlip suggests patronizing LGBTQ owned businesses as a way to show support. The Pride Chamber keeps a list of them and Cutlip also says it's important to denounce discriminatory laws and public policy. So after the best seven day stretch in club history, why Orlando City is arguably the best team in all the MLS? We discuss, see you in a few. Central Florida, I think, is a great place to live weather-wise because it's one of the few places where you can go out and explore year-round, and that's something my wife and I really like to do. One thing that I think we do a fantastic job with the Spectrum News 13 is we try to tell the weather story every single day, you know, event forecast, lifestyle forecast, things that impact people's lives. Going on across Central Florida, if you're my wife and I have really fallen in love with this area. I really just feel honored to be able to work with Spectrum News 13 to do meteorology every single day. We are connected, engaged, 
from the moment we rise. We move. We adjust. We learn. Explore. Relax and grow together so we're ready to build a better tomorrow. Stay informed throughout your day with the Spectrum News app exclusively for Spectrum customers. Candid conversations with our community's newsmakers. Central Florida Beyond the Soundbite, a Spectrum News 13 podcast available now on the Spectrum News app. Spectrum News 13, meteorologist David Ecker, bottom of the hour now. Time to take a close look at the weather across central Florida. A much quieter evening out there across central Florida. In fact, we are pretty much bone dry now, at least across the area in Clystron 13. Looks like it's going to stay that way for a good deal of the overnight. Some coastal showers will be possible as we get towards daybreak. Morning lows in the 70s. And tomorrow, more dry air pushes its way in. So just a scattering of activity anticipated. Highs back upper 80s and low 90s. We'll be back with a more in-depth look at your Sunday forecast. That's coming up in less than 10. Right now it's time for the Saturday night edition of Spectrum Sports 360. Spectrum Sports 360, driven by your Central Florida Honda dealers. From the very top of the table to now life on the road. Why Saturday's match for Sydney LaRue and company was both a good test and a good buy. Take a bow, Nani. Ay, ay, ay. A moment of absolute brilliance. Yeah, sometimes he do that best player on maybe the best team in all of MLS. Where this Galasso ranks on Nani's list of certified bangers. Plus, 6'1", 240, runs a 4 three forty. What's your life motto? You either gonna expose somebody or you gonna get exposed. Love it, Devin White. Plays big and talks bigger. How the Bucks linebacker plans to back up both in 2021. So we gonna have a good show or is this thing basically a crash waiting to happen? Give me a sign, please. Okay, gotcha. Hit it. It was the sign that the rock I've watched that like five times. What did she think was gonna happen? I don't know. What's up, Luke Ketrick here. The name of the show is Spectrum Sports 360. Let's start with a little quote. I'll take Alex Morgan, even if it's just for one game. She is that special. I think I speak for everyone when I say, duh. That was after the Pride's home opener back in May. Mark Skinner obviously has no issue singing his star player's praises. But why would he? He knows 13, very much the face of U.S. soccer, men's or women's. That's why she's won back-to-back -back World Cup titles. Why she's going to be an Olympian for the third time. That last part, by the way, why tonight? It's kind of like her going away party. Let's get to it. In Portugal, they refer to this as dancando, hablas espanol, bailando. In the English language, that would just be old fashioned dancing. Soccer is the international language. Orlando City, quite fluent. This happened because this happened. Let's rewind it to last night. Lions on the road at Inter-Miami CF. Stanley Cup is the hardest trophy to win in all of sports. Tampa knows, because last night, it took one step closer to defending it. This is now very much a Tampa problem because Bruce Arians and the Bucks like to say, hey, we're trying to win the Super Bowl again. We're not defending anything. Tampa currently still leading the AL East over Boston Sox Yankees going at it tonight when we return. And I know at the end of the day, I'm handling my business to make sure I don't have to eat the words that I say. Whatever he says, uh, he certainly backs it up. Inside the mindset and motivation of Bucks linebacker Devin White, expectations for 45 in 2021. First, expectations from our certified meteorologist David Heckard over in the Weather Center. Uh, going over to the TROP tomorrow afternoon on a Sunday, how's it going to be looking? Well, inside it'll be about 72 degrees, as it always is. Great forecast, every David. single Rays baseball game at the <laughs> TROP. If you are going outside from your car, 
into Tropicana Field. It's going to be pretty typical uh, Pinellas County weather over there. Partly cloudy skies here at 1 o'clock. Temperatures it looks like in the mid 80s. Now you may run into a rumble or two of thunder as you came uh, come out of the game. So you may want to take the umbrella if you're heading into the trop there for the big Rays game against the Angels. 4 o'clock temperatures hanging out at near 90 degrees. Not much going on here for a change of pace on Clystron 13. In fact, Central Florida's most powerful television Doppler showing just a few, some sprinkles down in the St. Petersburg area. Seven day forecast coming up in less than 10. More 360 coming up after the break. We are in the heart of Paramore, just outside Orlando's business district. It's a historically segregated neighborhood. Black residents once confined to the west side of Division Avenue. It seemed to be a no-brainer. Let's just change the name. But for others, it had an identity connection. Why change it? That area is gone. To wash it out as if it did not happen will be a travesty. Watch Street Level Division Avenue on the Spectrum News app. Find the episode in the Street Level section. You're watching Spectrum Sports 360, driven by your Central Florida Honda dealers. Tom Brady is the face of the box. That jawline, of course he is. Devin White, though, is the heartbeat. And it's not just the fact that he's 6'1", 240, built, 4'3 speed, freakishly athletic, has an all-pro game, or the fact that he just speaks his mind. And tonight's centerpiece, Olivia Stacy explains why it is all about backing up both the talent and the talk. From one buck current star to one of its all-time legends, just an incredible story coming up tomorrow night from our Catherine Smith. How Warwick Dunn gives one mother and her children the home they have always deserved. You do not want to miss it. When we return, walk off tonight on Jeff Waltman. Why dumb luck that he called the draft lottery the other night and all that misfortune are no longer an excuse. It's coming up after the break, but first, let's send it back over to certified meteorologist David Heckard over in the Weather Center. He'll pop up eventually, I hope. There you are. Is it going to be dumb luck that it might be nice tomorrow, or do you actually have science that can back it up? I got a little bit of science behind that. We got some dragons. Where's that moving. Purdue education oh, going to use? Shock. Boiler up. That. Yeah, well, we do have some dry air on the way heading into tomorrow. In fact, I really think if you're heading to the beach, tomorrow's probably going to be the nicest day of the next several. So if you can, go to the coast. We've been eyeing the beach out there. There will be some scattered storms around, maybe a few coastal showers in the morning, but the big difference tomorrow, a lot more sunshine. The UV index hanging out of the 10 and high temperatures of the coast tomorrow hanging out in the upper or mid to upper 80. So seven day forecast, even lower rain and thunderstorm chances area wide tomorrow down to 30%. High temperatures back, it looks like in the low 90s, but the dry air is going to be short lived. We're back up to a 40% storm chance Monday, Tuesday. We move to a 50% storm chance for the middle part of the week. And next weekend, Independence Day weekend, 40% storm chance next Saturday. More 360 coming up after the break. I think it's the people that make the story. Journalists give people a voice. When a story comes into Spectrum News 13, the reporter, photographer team, they're dispatching to the field, digging deeper to get information and details. It's really important that people have an understanding of what's going on in their neighborhood, in their community, across Central Florida. Tammy, we are live on the scene. Your evening news, beginning at 5 on Spectrum News 13, exclusively on Spectrum. It is not calculated luck, it's just dumb luck. It's what Jeff Weltman calls the draft lottery. He's right, you just kind of hope it works out. There's no strategy. It's all out of your control. But what can you control? For starters, the next two draft picks for this franchise and the head coach you decide to hire. Let me say this, I don't envy Jeff Weltman's job. I really don't. But it is fair to ask, why are the Magic in this position? Let's go down the list. The two guys you want to build this franchise around, one of them being there, they are rarely healthy. Most of the players Jeff Waltman has drafted do have an extensive injury history. And he made the decision mid-season last year to strip down, start from scratch, and rebuild. Again, I don't envy this job, and I don't disagree with all of those things, but these are his decisions. 
And it's not just one piece, because I will use this example time and time again. Look at Atlanta. Travis Schlenk, the GM coming over from Golden State, he decided we are going to rebuild. They drafted the guy in Trey Young. Didn't hire the right coach. Made a change. Out goes Lloyd Pierce, in comes Nate McMillan. Things change for the better. Now, it's not crazy to think Jeff Weltman is one to two decisions away from turning this thing around in a big way. Is it luck or is it a risk? Doesn't matter, because either way, it's his decision. Spectrum Sports 360, driven by your Central Florida Honda dealers. Looking for something fun to do around Central Florida? Here's a look at what's happening in our community, brought to you by Todd Minor Law. 